Okay, this is a Dell uh, Inspiron 530S. I'm going to show you how to get inside of it and show you how to get around inside, access the hard drive, and so on. There's a couple screws in the back here. Alright, uh, one right here. It's a little harder than what I'm doing. I already loosened them up so I can do it one hand, hold the camera with the other hand. So, um, yeah, you're going to take this uh, this right here and we're going to pull it and it's going to pop off. We're going to set that aside if it doesn't fall down. All right, we see the fan in here is kind of dirty and you should take a little pressure air can and uh, blow that out. Uh, there's a panel right here that needs to come out and uh, there's a note here that says front side and rear side so when you put it back in there's a lever right, right here in the back we're going to pull this up okay and we're going to take this lift it up in the back so what we're doing is we're lifting this up in the back and we're going to pull it out okay and it's going to be out of the way so got to remember to put that back in because that's a brace so if you put, stack anything on top of this computer when, it, when it's laying down like a monitor it's not going to crush, uh, collapse on the inside. So here's your hard drive. Okay, they got little pull tabs. So if you if you go like this inside, they're going to pop right out. Uh, trust me that because it's hard to do with one hand. All right, they they are SATA drives. All right, this is a this is a pull tab right here, and what happens is the the CD-ROM drives come right back. Uh, actually, this uh, this one. The door is right here. I, mean, I think this one goes through because there's no room in the back. So, so um, it's hard to do it with two. Okay, is it going to go back the other way? I should have done this before I done <laughs> it. It goes one way or the other, trust me. Uh, just play around with it, you'll, you'll figure it out. I, I do apologize. I'm usually more prepared for that on that. It's a very unique um, power supply. Uh, if this ever fails, you need to get it straight from Dell. You might be able to find it on eBay. These are all short ports in the back. So if you need a video card, it has to be a really short one compared to the desktop ones. There's your BIOS battery down here. All right, I have videos on how to change that. All right, all the capacitors are nice and flat, which is good. This is memory, memory chips are right here. I have videos that show you how to remove and replace memory chips. So if you do uh, change out the power supply, make sure you wrap the harness around this guy down here so it's not flopping all over the place. You don't want anything to be hitting this fan. Okay, so uh, hopefully you find this video uh, handy. Sorry I couldn't get the CD-ROM drive out or actually physically pull this out. But see, look, look underneath. There's a, And there's two, there's two blue things here. So you can actually put another hard drive there. If you follow these ports around, you'll see the, uh, there's a... Uh, there's two plugs plugged in down here, the orange one and the blue one. There's no difference whatsoever on color, all right, we see on color. There's two extra ports down here too, so you could put two more SATA drives in here. There's a bay on the bottom, underneath the CD-ROM drive, that you could put another CD-ROM drive in. There's another area right there for, the, uh, for another one there. The only issue is, do you have enough connectors coming off of this power supply to add to supply power and from what I see in here the answer is no I don't see any other any other uh, power available for extra ones down there and I don't know right uh, as of now um, taking these uh, these uh, power connectors oh what do we got here hold on hold on hold on it's tight on the bottom so there's a floppy disk power supply down there. So there's no uh, no adapter for the, from this power supply to another and let's see what it has down here underneath this one. And there is a power there is a power connector. So you can, you can, as long as you get another cable, a blue cable like this, or red, or it could be orange or whatever, alright, you can put another hard drive in there for the extra storage. So that's a pretty good thing. So you can't put another CD over here because there's not a, another power thing, but you can put another hard drive over here, which is a good thing. So uh, to put this all back together, one hand again, <laughs> all right, you slide this in, go in the opposite, the reverse of what we did, all right, 
you're going to pick this arm up, you're going to set this down into the slots. And we're going to just hear that click. And then we're going to take the, uh, take the cover. This is kind of tough to do with two hands, let alone one, because you got to push down here while you slide it. So I'm going to put my arm down. This will slide back over. All right, it, it, you have to get it all the way down there, all the way down there, and slide it back over. And you'll feel you'll feel on this side everything going in, and pop your two screws in. Uh, but it will slide in. Be careful you don't pitch your fingers. All right, so hopefully you found the video helpful, and um, share with a friend. Uh, some feedback is good.